Hi, hi, good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday, this is Jackie from Island Girl Tarot and Sacred Journeys. And I hope you're doing awesome this morning. So let's go ahead and do a quick check-in, energetic check-in about what the day can hold for us. So I'm gonna shuffle. I feel like I wanna use a different card deck today. I'll still pull the runes, but I feel like I need to shuffle these first before we get started. So let's go ahead and call in our angels, our ancestors, spirit guides. Hmm. Who else wants to be here? There's some energy that wants to be invited. So whoever it is that you would like to call upon, Creator, Source, Holy Spirit, Ascended Masters, whoever is um, your higher power, go ahead and call them in for clarity and wisdom for today's reading. And one already wants to pop out, so let's see. So let's ask what the rune wants to show us. What's the rune of the day, please, Spirit? What is the rune of the day? How's everybody doing? Hi, good morning, come on in. Come on in, we're just pulling a rune, see what's going on today, what do we need to know today? Okay, so this is what we got. Oh, wow, all right, look. We have the really dark red stone, which feels like it's the root chakra. So it's working on our stability, feeling safe in the body, feeling safe with in your home, in your body financially, uh, with your community, just feeling safe and secure. That's really a primal need that we all have. So that's something that came up. And the second one that we have is now the, look, it's almost like a little heart, but it's a black heart. This is a black tourmaline or an obsidian. This is to help pull away any type of negative energy. So feeling safe in the body and also everywhere where you don't feel safe, or you have negative memories or, or dense energy stuck in the body, this is going to help you pull away from you that negative energy or even protect you from negative energy. So if you have any kind of black tourmaline or obsidian, please hold that today. We have a tiny, tiny little shell, tiny little shell that's at work. Look how beautiful that is, it's so tiny. It feels like a new beginning. It's a brand new tiny shell. And um, they have even smaller ones on the beach, but this is just a tiny little shell. It feels like there's a new beginning, but it's important that you clear any old energy regarding your safety, security. It feels like that's what's really important today. And so the rune of the day is this. Let me get my glasses on so I can see. And this is, wow, okay, wrath of nature, destruction, tests and trials. Okay, so it feels like you have been through it. You've been through the ringer, it feels like. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so this actually may have some residual energy. It, all these trials and tribulations and that you've been through, hi, good morning, have left scars, energetic scars, physical scars, emotional scars. And so it's a calling for doing healing work around any type of energetic, physical, mental scarring about not being safe and not being secure in your home, in your body, in relationships, Anywhere where you endured any type of instability or feeling fear of being abandoned, rejected, all those first chakra fears, go ahead and look up your first chakra later when we're done and see how you can cleanse and clear this, okay? Because it's really, really important today. It feels like there's a lot going on on the inner that needs to be healed or released because it's manifesting in the external okay and the first card that wanted to pop out is the four of cups reversed so it feels like because of your fear and anxiety or trauma that you've endured the four of cups reversed talks about missing an opportunity so anywhere where we're frozen or we're afraid to move forward because of trauma because we we feel like things are going to just keep happening the same old same old well, it's because there's some energy still stuck in our body, our heart, our mind, our energy body that's causing, one, that's 
we're projecting that old story out into the reality so that it keeps calling it in. It's like what you look for, well, you're going to find what you look for. So if you keep looking for, say, uh, like a, an abusive person or a liar or a cheater or something like that, that's who you're going to call in. Hey, good morning, Liliana. But uh, yeah, so if you shift your mind, if you really work on your inner, release all the fear, the pain, the sorrow, anything that you might have endured, and you don't continue to just expect the worst, then you can free yourself up to expect the best. I'm doing really well, my dear. It's so nice to see you here. I'm so glad you're here. Nice to see you. So yeah, so we have to do our healing work, okay? Especially around the, the first chakra. Please do some chakra healing. We'll do a healing here in a second. But So it feels like this is important because we're going to miss an opportunity if we're not careful. So let's see what else the cards want to say. Please and thank you. Don't let fear hold you back. Don't let um, past experiences dictate your future. It's really important that we do our healing work. Okay, so let's see. Let's ask Spirit. I'm going to use a different deck. I was called to use the yellow deck today. And let's see what the Spirit wants to show us. Please and thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Show us what we need to see today. Please and thank you. Okay, the next one up is, look, the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. So somebody is walking away. Either you or someone else is walking away. They feel like they've missed an opportunity with you and they're walking away. Or you felt like you missed an opportunity and you're walking away from something. And walking away maybe can also be walking away from the hardships, the mental stories that don't serve you anymore. You're reaching out. You're seeking new things that are better for you, that are higher vibration, that actually match who you are now. Because, you know, you're not the person you were in the past. So you, But to, to move forward, we really have to make peace with the past. And this is like seriously a heavy, heavily... This story comes up a lot. Okay, five of swords. So in the past, you may have had a disagreement, a bitter argument with someone that hurt you. And so you have to, and not have to, we don't have to do anything. But the calling, the invitation is to come out of grieving. Come out of grieving from what happened in the past. Come out of grieving. Because in the past, it looks like you had a very bitter argument with someone. Uh, there was two people that left, and you were left standing, or vice versa. Maybe you were one of the three people that were in an argument. But it's time to come out of that grief, because look, you were depressed for a long time, or somebody was depressed, but it's time to come out of that. That depression, it really takes its toll, not only on the physical body, but again, it, it warps your sense of perspective. It warps how you see the world. So it's really important that you do your healing work, your, your self-love, your self-respect, yourself, and acknowledge the parts of you that feel hurt still, that you're sorrowful that things didn't work out. But also make peace with that because we can't always change other people's opinions or perspectives. We can't do any work for other people. We can only work on our own hearts. And so this is a serendipity, the fountain card. So trust the process. Trust that things, as you do your work, as you reach out, as you open your heart again, as you walk towards things and people that, that really resonate with you now, that give, I want to say, give yourself a chance. Give yourself a chance to live a life that is beautiful. Give yourself the chance. Oh, wow. Come out of being heartbroken. This is really a strong message, guys. Really. Come out of grieving. Please, please, please. Come out of grieving. Come out of being heartbroken. Come out of that, that energy that really hurt you. It's really important. Oh, wow, because justice is here. Justice is here. Justice is the... Karma, justice is karma, and justice is also, you don't have to try to 
avenge yourself. If someone was like brutally, if something happened that was totally unfair, you don't have to try to make things right. Justice is on our side. Karma always pays back, always. Not to even be mean, but karma always comes back around. And it's to really, karma comes back to teach lessons of humility and grace. And it restores things that were stolen, whether it was love or, it, karma always does its work. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry that things are not going to work out in the end. Karma always makes sure things work out. So the karma card is here. And karma also, karma is also going to make sure that you get your needs met, that you are taken care of, you are loved, but let go of this grief. You have to let go of this grief, babe. You have to let go of this grief. And it looks like actually you may be getting a message from a Knight of Swords and the Moon card. So there may be something still coming towards you that you don't know. It may actually be something from someone that, I want to say hurt in the past, but there's something coming towards you that you don't know yet. It's the moon card. It could be a Pisces, of course. It could be a Pisces. But something that ended in the past, you're going to be hearing something about, or you're going to hear from that person. And the sun reversed. In this instance, it feels to me, this is not normally how I see this, but it feels to me you're going to be hearing someone from someone that regrets their past actions. They thought the, the, they thought the grass was greener or they thought something or they believed something. But you're going to hear from this person that they are really sorrowful and regretful. Oh, yeah, look, they lied. Somebody actually lied, was cheating, lying, was untruthful. They regret that. Four of Swords. They're actually, they're praying about how to come forward. And this is also a call for you to please surrender all your heartbreak and past pain to spirit. This is the Four of Swords. It's the time out card. It's the prayer. It's the healing. It's the meditation card. It's the pause. It's a pause. So if you still are in this energy of heartbreak, it's an invitation to please pause and pray. Do your healing work. Please do your healing work. It's important. Don't worry about what happened in the past. Karma will take care of everything. Please trust, trust that process. You don't have to, you don't have to make things right or like and try to convince things or convince people that things weren't the way they were or whatever. You don't have to do that. Karma is going to make sure everything is brought out into the light. You're going to be hearing something, but the, the important thing is right now, please focus on your root chakra, do your healing work, wear, a, wear your obsidian or your, your uh, black tourmaline to clear out any negative, negative energies that are still stuck in you, energies of trauma, abandonment, rejection, isolation. Cleanse and clear those because it's really important to move on. Because look, this new shell is here waiting for you. This new shell speaks to me of a new beginning. But to have a new beginning, you have to let go completely of the old. And that means the old trauma, even the old belief system. The old belief systems that make you feel like, uh, you know what I'm hearing, that you're not worthy, you're not good enough, you're, you're tainted. There's something wrong with you. You're scarred. All those things that are not true need to be put to rest. Be, and it, it, it's also impacting your finances, your stability. The root chakra is also talking about financial stability. So if you are struggling with finances, it's part of your deeper trauma that make you feel, believe that you're not good enough. You're not worthy. You're not worth it. You're not worth it. There's all these lies that are in the energy. Please do healing work around these lies that are, are stuck in the body because of old trauma. And if you need support with that, please reach out and I do separate healing work around those issues. But if you're listening to me right now, 
let's just tap in right now. Put your hand on your heart. And I'm asking all the angels of love and light, all your spirit guides, your ascended masters, your future self to please come. Please come, please come, please come. And please help us release all the deep, deep pain and trauma that has caused us to believe in some level of reality or even parallel, parallel realities that are making us believe that we're not worthy, that we're not safe in the body, that there's something wrong with us, that we're, we don't fit in, or anything and everything that causes us to not be grounded or safe in the body and not safe to shine. Allow yourself to shine, friends. You are beautiful, you are worthy, you are gorgeous, you have a beautiful gift to give the world. Please don't hide your gift because of past trauma. Matter of fact, cultivate all the lessons learned from those past traumas. Use that as fuel, as lessons, as the primary reason that you're here because all those past traumas formed you into who you are now. And take all the lessons that you've learned, release the garbage of that, and allow ourselves to be free and fertilize our gifts of who we are, using the past trauma and pain to cultivate our gifts so we can shine bright to the world. All that past trauma is like fertilizer for the flowers of our life. Allow that to be fertilizer so we can grow beautiful flowers in our garden of life. We have gifts to share that could have only been honed or cultivated by the past traumas. So please, do your inner work. Make peace with the traumas and allow them to grow beautiful fruit, beautiful flowers, beautiful gifts in our lives. We don't have to hide because of trauma or bad experiences. No, on the opposite. We shine bright. We shine bright because of our trauma, because of what we have been through. We can match, we can see people who are hurting or in pain or whatever the deal is that we've been through. We can see that in others and we can give our gifts of love and encouragement and compassion and healing to others. So don't hold back, don't hide. Just make peace with the past and allow that to allow our gifts to be stronger and more powerful so we can reach those people that we need to reach because we're here for a reason. And don't, don't pull back, don't hide. I hope that makes sense. It's a very strong message today. Make peace with the past. Don't worry about trying to avenge your past because karma is here. Karma will take care of the rest. You just work on healing your heart, healing your, your root chakra. Do your root chakra healing and shine bright because you are here for a reason and a purpose and you are worthy to be here. You are powerful. You are beautiful. You are worthy. You are safe in the body. You are safe to be seen. You are safe to share your gifts and it is right for you to be receiving love and security and stability in your own body and then outer layer in a community and then outer layer in your city, outer layer in the world. You are safe to be here on the planet. Matter of fact, we need you. We need you. We need you now. And so it is. Many blessings. And if you need some extra support for doing your healing work, reach out to me. I do separate healing work through Sacred Journeys, and I'd be honored to work with you if you feel drawn to work with me. I have a sliding scale, so don't worry about don't worry about anything. Just if you need support, call me. But until then, next time, see you later, guys. Bye.